artist. Hello, I saw your art. It's so cool. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> and yeah, artists are running for their lives. Can you please do me a favor, bestie? Could you make a whole bunch of expensive art for me for free, please? No, I'm not gonna pay you for your time and your services. And honestly, how dare you even ask me that? Hi, just confirming that you're good to start your unpaid trial week on Monday from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. for stable hand duties. Please wear work boots and a short sleeve shirt and no tank tops. Sunscreen, water bottle, and I'll provide a cap. Please confirm. Hi, I didn't realize you'd want me to work for a full week without pay. What day and times is the trial for, please? Yes, the trial is for you to shadow and learn from my staff stable duties and teaching if you are suitable and to give you an opportunity to see if you like the job. Normally it's Monday to Friday, but it's voluntary. You don't have to, and I understand if you don't want to. Let me know. Sorry, am I applying for a job as a stable hand or are you looking for volunteers? I'm a little confused. I appreciate that I have to learn from your staff, but I've been a stable hand for over four years and 45 hours unpaid seems somewhat excessive. Okay, no probs. I've got enough of three juniors to interview and do a trial over the next three weeks. I'll get back to you after they've done their trial. Yeah, like the title says, if you string together enough unpaid trials, you'll never have to hire staff again. Yeah, like, oh, I can't get in trouble because they're not really employees. But yeah, definitely seems like that's what's going on. Hi, I'm looking to get a gravel driveway installed. We're just near digging out, sub base put in with a membrane and then gravel on top. I won't be accepting quotes over 250. Cash waiting. Probably wouldn't take any more than four days. If you would like to be interviewed for the job and quote, please comment below and I'll get in touch. Thanks in advance. Oh my God, what's wrong with people? Are you joking? <laughs> if you would like to get interviewed for the job, you're not employing them like you're giving them a job. Oh my God, that's so annoying. <laughs> I won't be accepting quotes over 250 pounds and it won't take any more than four days. Oh my God, the audacity. And then to say that they're gonna interview the person who's gonna do it like you're doing them a favor. You'd be lucky to get anybody that wants to do this. And if somebody is willing to do this, they're doing you a favor. How much are you willing to give the TV for? I can sell it for 40, 25, 50 for you. When you can't sell it for 40, write it and I'll take it for 25. A mother from Ukraine with two children needs it. Are you joking? Yeah, then she'll come and buy it from me. For how much? How about 30? No, 40. They tried to say that they were a mother from Ukraine with two children so they could get it cheaper. Yeah, that's gross. Hello, I'm looking for someone who can patch drywall. I can offer you exposure with my 500 follow. Oh, I'm just joking. I'll pay you. Please send me quotes. Thank you. It's so nice to read one that isn't real. Like, oh, they don't want to just pay an exposure. That's so beautiful. How much is it to buy? 299,000. Could we give you 200 a month for it? You know, till we get it paid for. We have a month old baby. Are they selling a house? I'm pretty sure they are. So you want to pay $200 a month for something that's 300 grand because we have a one month old baby? What do you mean? Yeah, like the title says. Yeah, they could have the house paid off in just 125 years. Yeah, all the best with that. I'm looking for a free puppy for my emotional support animal. The puppy has to have a shot record to come with it and I'm in so-and-so. Someone would have to bring the puppy to me as I don't have a vehicle. I'm also looking for a vacuum cleaner and a coffee maker. That works. Like I said, I'm looking for one to be my emotional support dog. If you don't have anything nice to say, then move on. You don't like my post? Oh well, keep moving. I know dogs are a long commitment. I'm not stupid. I've had plenty of dogs in my life. Puppies are never free. They're a lifelong commitment that require funds. Yeah, they come with a lot of expenses. So yeah, if you can't afford to have one, then you probably shouldn't. No, like a hundred percent shouldn't. But yeah, all the best with the vacuum and the coffee maker. Yo, hey, what's up? I really need your help right now. What's going on? My cousin needs groceries and we don't got none. I was trying to cash out my cousin and my cash app is telling me I need to update my card and I can't get that done until 11 p.m. Can you please spare my cousin $100 just for groceries? I got you $120 tomorrow. I got you back for real. Girl, I'll be honest, I don't even have $100 in my bank account. How much can you spear me with? My engagement party was this weekend. I just paid for and I'm not getting paid until next week. How much can you spear me? And they send a photo of somebody 
somebody spearing something. That's so funny. Let me see what I can spear you. So this one is about custom controllers. Hi, I don't know if this item is still available, but if so, let me know. Sorry, I just sold it. But if for some reason it's available again, I'll let you know. That's fine. I'll buy it for regular price since it's used. Let's say $30 if relisted. I meant to ask, is the battery old? How long did you own it? I've owned it for around four years. Has it already gotten sent out? It was sent out today, yes. I'll let you know if I hear anything back. Oh, gee. I don't know why, but I kind of wish you could get another one and I could buy it for a level decent price. It's a bit of an impulsive thought, I know, but I would be willing to give you something for your efforts. I bought the original one for $175, so that doesn't seem like it would be very beneficial to me. I was already selling it at a hefty discount. I see, but what if you'd gotten it from the same place, depending on where, and you sold it at your own price to me? What, for less than $175? Well, depends if it would be that price now. Could you check? It's not even available anymore. They no longer do PlayStation 4 controllers, apparently. Is it a website? Actually, I found a Spider Gwen one slightly different than mine. They do have it available for $140 before tax. It's Controller Chaos in Minneapolis. Hmm, would you infer on selling that to me at your own price? Maybe a bit closer to $100. Why would I purchase a controller for $140? and then turn around and sell it to you for a straight loss when you could just buy it yourself? Yeah, you're right about that. I kind of figured that you'd know about stuff like this. Well, let me know if the other person isn't interested anymore. Yeah, will do. It kind of does make me a bit sad. A little depressed even. I'm so confused. They're upset because the person wouldn't buy something expensive and then immediately turn around and sell it to them for like a $75 loss. What do you mean? Of course they're not going to do that. I'm looking for a full-time virtual assistant to research data and input them into a spreadsheet. The job is simple and easy. I'll provide training videos so you can watch them and learn. Must have excellent attention to detail. Must understand, speak and understand English. Must be punctual and committed to the task. Five days a week, eight hours per day on a variety of tasks on data entry and research. The salary is $60 a month plus work bonuses for this position. Please don't waste my time and apply if this salary doesn't meet your expectations. Five days a week and eight hours a day for $15 a week. That salary doesn't meet anybody's expectations. Who's going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to work eight hours a day, five days a week for $15 a week. So yeah, like what, $2 a day? Asking her partner's ex-wife for her child's designer clothes proceeds to call her a silly goose and throw a strop when she doesn't get what she wants. Hey girl, I don't know if you heard, but so-and-so and I are having a baby girl. I really love your daughter's style, and I was wondering if instead of a gift, you would send me her clothes that are too little. I like posh peanuts, monograms, Burberry, or anything designer. Oh, congratulations on your pregnancy. Thank you for the compliment on their clothing. I do want to keep some of her more expensive items for my future kids, but I can send you several things with tags still on it, from Carter's and Nike and some posh peanuts. Also, I don't think our daughters will have the same monogram since your last name starts with an F. But if you're naming her something with an M, then I might have some items. Lol, it's a gift, silly goose. You would need to get a new monogram on it before you send it to us. Her name is going to be so-and-so. And you can just buy designer stuff for your next kids. We don't have money like that. Quite honestly, if you're not willing to send what I want, then don't even bother sending anything at all. My baby is only gonna wear nice clothes. So what, you're just gonna get somebody to buy them for you? My baby is only gonna wear designer that you are going to provide for me? <laughs> like, I don't want to be Captain Obvious over here, but this is the definition of a choosing beggar. They're literally begging for gifts, but they want them to only be designer. All the best with that scene. A designer talking with a prospective client, me. The price for the project we're talking about will be this total. Client, really? I had another designer work on this for me last year and he did it for free. Me, I'm sorry, but I can't work for free. You may want to try going back to him and seeing if he'll do it for free again this year. The client, I can't. He's no longer in business. Yeah, that's right. You need to pay people for their time and their services. Otherwise, they're not going to be in business. Rihanna got paid $0 to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show by the NFL, but did it for exposure for her brand. Over 28.5 million
million people watched her Super Bowl halftime show. Think about this next time you think you're too big to work for exposure. That's really not comparable to if you're trying to get somebody else to work for exposure. And it's kind of annoying that they think it is. Yeah, like the top comment says, performing for free at the Super Bowl is not the same as doing something for free for your Twitter page with 2,000 followers. Yeah, that's right. They're definitely not comparable. I'm taking Valentine's applications. <laughs> Ideally from any of these places or Scandinavian. Wait, sorry, Scavandanian. Must be 5 foot 2 or 5 foot 8 and under 50 kilograms. What? <laughs> Bro, Chico weighs more than that. He doesn't, guys. Don't worry. But 50 kilos is so light. Willingly will cook and no male friends. Will not talk back and be silent when we argue. Good relationship with her dad. No smoking or vaping. Will wear sensible clothes. No flares or leggings. <laughs> That's really what you care about. I'm trying to meet somebody, but the only thing that matters is whether or not they wear leggings or flares. But yeah, this is definitely giving me a little bit of nice guy energy. And that's not good energy. Needed full and part-time salespersons who won't quit after two days, weeks or months. Who works hard, takes pride in their work, cares and doesn't think they're doing so-and-so a favor by working here. Who can take a joke and won't whine every day on the floor. Must be self-motivated, able to work on some holidays and weekends. Come into apply or email here. Tell your friends and family, please do not apply if you oversleep, have no alarm clock, have no car, have caught often, have no babysitter every day, have to give friends rides to work later than we start work, experience flat tires every week, <laughs> have to hold onto a cell phone all day, should not expect to receive purple ribbons or gold stars for showing up to work on time. Wow, that's the most honest help wanted sign I've ever seen. Like they obviously had some bad employees, but they shouldn't be putting that on this. And also judging from this, they might just be awful to work for. So <laughs> it might just be that. I don't like the bit where it says somebody who can take a joke and won't whine every day on the floor. Like somebody's joke and somebody else's joke can be very, very different. And somebody might think that one thing is funny, but somebody else might think it's completely inappropriate. So yeah, depends what sort of jokes you're talking about. Life update, we're pregnant and we're having a... Not sure. We moved and we're full-time Jesus school students. We are experiencing the beginning stages of revival, spending hours in the presence of the Lord, weekly evangelism, mission trips, amazing teachings, and so much more. We're in desperate need of financial support and we're believing the Lord for three and a half thousand dollars. This will cover rent this month and baby appointments and groceries. Anything you feel led to give is truly appreciated. The top comment, maybe they should spend a little less time in the presence of the Lord and a little more time on the premises of an employer. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like this one is too bad, except they're not asking for like 50 bucks. They're asking for three and a half grand. That's a lot of money to be asking people for. But yeah, all the best with that. Okay, this is a super long shot, but I've never been to a concert and I absolutely love Morgan Wallen and Bailey Zimmerman and I would love for them to be my first ever concert. I always said, if I can't afford good seats, then what's the point of even going? That being said, pit tickets are $686 a person, and hubby wants to go just as much as I do, plus insurance on the two tickets. You know, just in case anything happens, we can get refunded, which I'd 100% give back to anybody who's donated. The total comes to around $1,800. <laughs> May I add that we've been married for two years and just had our second baby last month, so we've been up and down financially financially and busy with two under two kids and we never got a honeymoon so this would count as it if anybody can spare even one dollar or five dollars that would mean so much the bit where they said if you can't afford good seats what's the point of even going like you can't afford good seats <laughs> just because somebody else might be able to afford good seats doesn't mean that you should be asking them to pay for you to have good seats <laughs> like wouldn't you just be happy enough to go well apparently Apparently not, because what's even the point of going if you don't have good seats? This person wants my Roblox account for free. I have like $40 on my account. Do you have an account I can use? 
please, sir. I only have one. Oh, I'm really struggling with my account. Oh, okay, that'll work. Is it good? Like, you know, rich or something? Sorry, what? I mean, can I have the account? I'm really struggling to get an account. Then just create a new one. I don't have Robux. My dad and mum are not buying me Robux. Sorry, what? Why did you say no? He's saying that he wants my account. Bro, come on. Then the facepalm emoji. It's not that big of a deal. Why do you want me to give him my account? He forgot his Roblox password. He has no accounts. Just give it. Oh yeah, because that's completely reasonable, isn't it? What do you mean you don't want to and that's perfectly fine because it's yours and you can do whatever you want with it? I want it now. Please help me raise the three grand needed to get my car back. Our car is ready and we can't keep lifting, so just please, yo. And they have a photo here. Payment info, major emergency crowdfund needs, small claims, a lawsuit, $500, car accident damage repairs, three grand, shower floor leak, 1800, small repairs and replacements, two grand, monthly crowdfund needs, car payment, groceries, Ziggy's food, cannabis, chiropractor, care packages and food pantries and supplies. Please help us raise the funds to pay this human who wasted time to sue us so we can be over it already. Just a freaking please, yo, I'm begging. Self-care, black joy, rest. Three days at hotel or Airbnb, $400. Cannabis bath soaks, $150. Tap out tattoo session, $650. Etsy and black art, $200. I really want to raise the funds by tomorrow so I can book my stay by Monday morning to be able to check in at three. So is this for them? Three days at an Airbnb, a tattoo session and art. Black History Month ends tomorrow, so please end it right by supporting myself and all others that are immensely struggling to continue not only living but affording to. When I said at least $50 when sending reparations to black people, including myself, I meant it. Stop disrespecting my work and deciding it's not worth at least $50. And remember, reparations for black folks are past due. I haven't gotten much in terms of funds yet this month and I feel it's because I've been resting which I find disgusting. Black folks should only be resting this month and y'all should be sending us at least a $50 when being intentional about your reparations. Get to work. 2021 Black History Month is genuinely so damn long and dreary this freaking year especially since everyone keeps deciding black folks don't get to live nor survive out of this freaking pandemic and I'm really freaking freaking over it. Can y'all at least a very freaking least to send us to reparations of at least a $50 to make it through our pitiful month? There's a funky smell in the air and I finally identified it. Y'all leave this massively gross ass of funk and odor that just lingers forever from when you decide to only send $2 with a message of love and light or that you hope it helps when you know damn well it won't. The funk and odor is from you clearly being anti-black plus a white supremacist and capitalist. The disgusting smell comes from y'all pretending that you're broke when you know damn well that you're just another wealth hoarding colonizer. I'm not asking. It's your job to ensure that I can survive like I make it mine to make sure y'all can. It's your effing duty so get to it or block and leave me alone. Thank you to those trying to get me to my goal but we didn't even reach the goal to pay the bill for my car and my dad's car just gave out so we'll need to lift and we'll need the money to do so. I I appreciate those that sent what they could, especially the five that sent over a hundred. I only raised twelve hundred. I needed three grand by Thursday, but it didn't happen, so it's late, and it's genuinely because y'all decide that I don't need to survive, even though I legitimately make sure that y'all can feed yourselves and your kids, but you'll let Joe Budden still be rich and have a broadcast after admitting that he thinks about something something. Y'all need to fix this now. I need three thousand by today and I need another 4,300 by Sunday. Make it happen. Share and boost hard. Donate. Whoa. I really wasn't expecting that. I don't even know what to say. Wow, reading that made me sad. That's unbelievable. Did I just have my first encounter? A free kettle? Hi, is this available? Yeah, are you still interested? Yeah, can you drop off today? No drop offs. Pick up only because it's a free so what? Like they don't really need to say anything else, do they? No, no, no. Give me 
something for free, but also take time out of your day to give it to me. And I hope you don't think I'm gonna be grateful because I'm not gonna be. I'd like to buy your iPhone 8 Plus for $385. Yeah, okay, $385 sounds good. Nah, $350. I gotta pay for my kids' braces. No, sorry. So you hate kids? <laughs> no, I need that much for my kids' braces. Wow, that's such a beautiful response. Like, no, of course I don't hate kids because I'm not gonna take your offer. I actually need it for my kids' braces. Dating me is $1,100 a month. Rent is $300. My nails are $100. My hair is 100 take me shopping at least 300 utilities 200 spending money 100 if you date me my bills are a package deal either you support me or get the hell out of here <laughs> oh that's so funny i admire their honesty can someone help my family out we're in need my wife and i we need to come up with about 400 dollars this weekend so we can attend the so-and-so festival and have a decent time we live on a tight budget as i haven't been able to find a job in in two years. We want to go out and have fun at this annual tradition, but don't want to go if we can't afford anything because that would be just depressing. Ideally, I'd have 200 for food and souvenirs, as would she. We also would need care for an Uber to get there unless someone is willing to drive us. Anything is appreciated as long as it's over a $25 donation. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not worth it due to PayPal taking a cut. DM me for my info. I'll be on the lookout. On the lookout for all of the people who don't send the money. <laughs> <laughs> I am hungry for Korean barbecue. Would you like to take me out to eat now? Lol, I just ate with my friends, but I'm down to grab a drink or something. I want Korean barbecue. If not, no meetup. Does this strategy actually work? Like you get free meals this way? They should have been like, yeah, I'm gonna go get some Korean barbecue. And you're not invited. Choosing beggar wanted to kick me out of my seat at the ballet. This happened a couple of days ago and I still get really cross thinking about it. I bought four ballet tickets to see Cinderella and suddenly one of my friends couldn't go. Instead of letting the ticket go to waste, I posted on a local ballet forum that I had one spare ticket that I was offering for free. My post made it really clear that it was only one ticket and given that it was only two hours before the show, I was happy to let it go for free, even though full price would have been about £100. Well, a lady messages me saying that she'd love to have it. We arranged a meet in front so I can hand her the ticket before the show, mentioning that she'd be sat next to my group. So I'm waiting out front with my friends and this lady in her 50s approaches me with her husband. She then demands that I give her two tickets. It's really rude to sell only one ticket. Nobody goes to the ballet alone. Um, I did make it clear that I only had one ticket. Besides, I'm not selling it. I'm literally giving it away. She then points at each person in our group individually and demands that we give up our seat for her and her husband. It was so bizarre, especially because they were nicely dressed and seemed really posh. We decided just to leave and go inside. She tried to follow us in, claiming that we stole her ticket. Eventually, the ushers told her to go away, but it was so weird. That's the last time I try to be nice by giving away free tickets. Wow, the definition of ungrateful. <laughs> That's terrible. It's so rude of you to give me something for free when I really don't deserve it. <laughs> oh my god, you're going out of your way to do something nice? Giving away a full price ticket for free? Do you even realize how rude this is? <laughs> like, what's the thought process in their head? Is there one? Babysitter needed Monday to Friday and weekends. Must be 20 or older. Must already have children or brother or sister that you've raised. Deep cleaning such as dishes is not required. Only pick up after yourself and kids if you make food, please. And also pick up the trash. Nothing on the table. No crumbs or leftover food or dishes. All dishes must be in the sink or stacked neatly by the sink. Must be able to cook simple meals such as spaghetti, potatoes, eggs, boiled chicken, or chicken sandwiches, etc. Snacks are only two times a day. No sweets, no candy, no soda. Only mostly water and apple juice, grape juice and orange juice. Sometimes there'll be meals that we've made. We make carnitas, plav, Turkish rice dish with beef cubes, dolma, cabbage rolls and fajitas. No teaching the children another language. We'll be willing to pay 200 every two weeks I can throw in an extra 50. That's if you do decide to help with potty training. There'll be an interview in person preferred. If you have children yourself that's in the same age group you can bring them unless there's an issue that arises such as kids biting kids or they start fighting you can bring whatever entertainment source you want that's for kids must not be on your phone i want your attention on the kids wait so they said they wanted somebody monday to friday and weekends so every day and then they said willing to pay 200 every
every two weeks. I can also add an extra 50 if you decide to help with potty training. So they're going to pay 200 every two weeks. Did I read that right? Yeah, that's not enough money. <laughs> not even in the ballpark of enough money. Seven days a week for $100 a week. Nah. I know this is going to sound super superficial, but here goes nothing. As you guys know, Brayden is starting that fancy, fancy school next semester. And he's worried that he doesn't have enough nice stuff to wear compared to the rich kids that go there. So I wanted to ask my friends and family if you have any designer clothes or backpacks and school supplies to donate so that Brayden doesn't feel poor or bullied. And finally, I'm going to be the one dropping him off, so I'll definitely get outshined by the rich soccer mums. So if any of you have any nice designer purses that you don't need, I'm your girl. Can't hurt to ask. Yeah, but you shouldn't have. <laughs> I have some old stuff from when Jack went to school. I believe it's Ralph Lauren. Hmm, I'll have to wait and see if there are any other takers. Thanks. Any purses by any chance? Sorry, no. I've got some DKNY stuff that so-and-so never wore. Interested? Possibly. Any purses though, gal? I've got a Michael Kors tote that I don't wear if you're interested. No thanks. One hour later. Just to be clear, I appreciate everyone's help. I really do. But my idea of designer is Gucci, Fendi, Dolce, not Polo and Michael Kors. Sorry guys, this girl wants the world. <laughs> oh my god. A few more hours later. And now Michael made me take down my Facebook post. You'd think if a man can't provide basic necessities for his woman, he'd at least let her ask her friends and family. Am I the crazy one here or what? Yes. A hundred percent. Asking people on Facebook for free designer stuff and then talking down to them when they don't offer you Gucci, Fendi or Dolce and Gabbana. Like you're not the one who's begging them for stuff. People, why do you charge so much? All you do is click a button. Yeah, there's a lot more that goes into it than that. Wow, the top comment. Okay, but you already have all of that stuff. Someone would a thousand percent say that. Never again. I recently had to move my mother out of her apartment and she had so much stuff that I was literally giving stuff away to get rid of it. Nice stuff too. But I had to deal with so many choosing beggars and people of that type. So many people wanted stuff delivered even though I was clear that it was pickup only. Does anyone even drive anymore? Why do all the carless people appear when I have to get rid of something? Why do all the carless people act like their choice to be carless is my problem to solve? So I thought I'd start charging nominal prices for the stuff. Not to make a profit, but just to weed out the weirdos. It made no difference. I gave away a newish custom sofa for $60. This was the one thing I was willing to deliver because I couldn't drag it out of my apartment by myself. But I told them to bring a friend because I couldn't help them load it into the truck. I've got a bad back. I made that super clear. They sent one dumb teenage kid by himself. One. I offered the washer and dryer for free and oh my god, you would have thought I'd announced that I was emptying out the Smithsonian. People kept messaging about it hours after it was gone. And I thought the nice going, you made my kids cry, was fake. But people really say stuff like that. Sorry I gave it to somebody who was quicker than you. Hold on while I take it back from them and then deliver it to your house in a golden carriage. I'm sorry to say that giving stuff away is not a viable solution anymore because people have ruined it. I paid trash haulers to get rid of the last few items that a younger, dumber me would have tried to sell. And it was some of the best money I've ever spent. Wow, the top comment. What I'm hearing is that you still have the washer and dryer and you will deliver it to me. I'm in New York, by the way. I really appreciate this. You're saving my kids Christmas. Senior gal, you need to be able to lift 50 to 100 pounds. A valid driver's license will be handy. Assist with bedpan. She's bedridden. She's not able to stand and limited reach with arms. Assist with shampooing hair once a week. The total time per day that you're actually working for her daily needs is approximately two to three hours. Spread out over the day about every couple of hours. You'll cook meals for both of you. Clean the house and basics. Keep up laundry, etc. Basically, she pays the bills and you run the house. What you will get? Use of a private bedroom in a two-bedroom home. Use of common rooms. Use of on-site laundry. TV in bedroom with her service provider. Paid cell phone on her carrier if your phone is not compatible. She has a spare one. Free Wi-Fi on her carrier. Use of an Xbox One. She has hundreds of good games. If you don't have EBT, food stamps, cow fresh. She can help you apply and feed you until you get them. She smokes pot and oils and shares enough. You probably won't have to buy any. She gives you a stipend of $40 a week. No tweakers, no drunks. She'll have you do urine drug tests randomly weekly and it cuts off. Yeah, once again, like the top comment says, it says that she's 
is bed bound and can't stand. You'll be assisting all toileting needs, which includes through the night. Limited arm reach, meaning that you'll need to help clean up. If you have no experience doing this for somebody who's bed bound, plan on needing to change sheets fairly regularly. Sounds like she might want to be up. Lift 50 to 100 pounds. So assist to a wheelchair maybe. None of this is just a few minutes. It winds up taking a lot of time. So around the clock care, seven days a week for $40 in spending money. Because if you aren't directly providing care, you're cleaning or buying groceries or cooking or feeding two dogs. And someone will need to pick up the dog poop eventually. Laundry and all the other stuff that goes into running a household. And you need to sign up for food stamps. Agencies charge anywhere from 20 to 25 an hour. This is better than sleeping in a dumpster, but barely. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a very good deal. Would I be the a-hole if I don't let my family member and their fiancé sleep in my bed when they come to visit? I, 37 female, am about to have two visitors to my apartment in a couple of weeks. Male, 42, and female, 39. I have a king bed that I sleep in, and I have a queen-sized Murphy bed that is in my office. The couple will be staying a night at my place before continuing on their road trip. For additional context, I'm 6 foot and I'm built like a brick house. This couple are both over 6 feet and in the very overweight to very large category. The the issue is, the couple asked to spend the night. I said, sure, I have a bed. They asked if they could have my bed, the king size, and I said no. And this led to a, we'd be more comfortable before our road trip if we got to sleep in the bigger bed. I said, you have a queen size bed or an air mattress as your options at my place. Take your pick. They called me an a-hole and said that they would discuss it further, closer to the date of their arrival. Would I be the a-hole for not letting them sleep in my bed? Oh my god, no, not even a little bit. And what do they mean? mean they'll discuss it further closer to the date of their arrival? Like, what are you gonna discuss? Kicking somebody else out of their own bed? Yeah, like the top comment says, said that they would discuss it further close to the date of their arrival. After this, my answer would have been a link to an Airbnb. Yeah, 100%. That's so not okay. One of our customers paid for a medium pizza at our work and then asked to make it a large in the notes. 14-inch meat monster pizza, regular. So they've paid $20. Please make this a large and very little sauce. Yeah, that's not how that works. Choosing beggars will literally try anything. They're like, oh, well, maybe I'll get it for cheaper, so I might as well try. After years of neglecting bees in my community garden bee yard, I refuse to give a fellow beekeeper free bees. Results in guilting, alluding to my wife's MS and Bible verses. Sadly, your hive didn't make it this year. Peeking in, there were next to no bees left. Charles, can you help me? I'm not working and I can't afford to buy bees. Can you please give me one of your splits this month. Thanks. Um, I'm hesitant to do that. Since 2018 you've been a bad track record for coming to care for your bees in our yard. I think the last two seasons you either didn't visit your hives or only did it no more than a couple of times. Despite assurances that that wouldn't be the case any longer, I have to decline giving you a swarm or split again. Charles, with no employment, caring for elderly mother, wife created and left with a $100,000 credit card debt, while in the process of divorcing me for half of my life retirement Please reconsider the bees or just remember me as your wife increases in her care need. Genesis 12 3. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you I will curse and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Your choice is to bless or curse me. Yeah, but one either has the time for these animals or not. I do apologize for your hardships and I hope the best for them, but I can't let another hive go neglected. These hives are livestock we care for. If you don't have the time for them, you shouldn't keep them. That isn't a failure in you, but a reality of your situation as you describe it. Wishing you the best. Charles, you choose to curse me, which is between you and God. Oh my God, what an ominous way to say that. Should they be worried? What's that? You're not going to give me any of your bees? I'm going to put a curse on you, my friend. Guy asks date to pay for meal and then gets mad at the one treating him for using a discount. Olive Garden Drama. I work at a restaurant chain owned by a restaurant company called Darden. Darden owns Eddie V's, Capital Grill, Longhorn, etc. A cool perk of working for them is getting a quarter discount at any of their restaurants. I recently met this guy who I asked out on a date yesterday. We agreed to get dinner and he asked me to pay because he was low on money. So I agreed. When suggesting restaurants, I suggested Olive Garden, which happens to be a Darden restaurant. Everything seemed to be going okay and when I paid, I applied the aforementioned employee discount. After we left, said guy texted me calling me a cheapskate 
gate and said that he couldn't believe I took him to a restaurant where I could get a discount and didn't tell him beforehand. I told him that it's not as if Olive Garden is some obscure restaurant that if he wanted to dine elsewhere, I would have taken him there as well. But yeah, I might like to save a buck or two. I wonder if he just didn't like me and didn't know how to say it. Yeah, like the top comment says, imagine calling someone cheap when they're paying for your meal. Like, yeah, you paid for my meal, but God, you're a cheapskate. Yeah, you're not really in a position to say that. I need some advice on what to do about babysitting my friend's one-year-old. She's 20. A little background on me. I'm 24 and I have a five-year-old and one-year-old twins. Her schedule is different every week. Sometimes she brings him at 6.30 a.m. and won't pick him up until 8 p.m. Other days she brings him at 10.30 to 11 a.m. with a dirty diaper and isn't fed yet and picks up around 8 or 9. Breakfast at my house is at 8.40. She knows that once I'm done giving breakfast, I'm done until snack time and lunch. My girls are very independent, but at times they love their snuggles and they want attention. And with him, he wants it all the time and cries if he doesn't get his way. And I've honestly been putting him first because he's not my child and I want him feeling comfortable. Also, when he's doing things that he shouldn't be doing, she doesn't correct him. My girls know that no is no. Also, his dad doesn't work, but he doesn't watch him. And his son will be calling my husband Dada and gets happy when he gets home. I only get paid $20 a day. I provide bottles and wipes and she doesn't even send them. I can't do it anymore, but I don't know how to tell her I can't babysit no more. I just feel like she's taking advantage of me as a friend. There's a lot more, but I'm going to save y'all from reading it because this is long enough. Oh my god, $20 a day? Nah. Like the top comment says, I think OP has enough on her plate without the choosing beggar or the child. Yeah, you don't need to be this stressed out for $20 a day. That's so not worth the trouble. Apartments and rooms for rent in Toronto. Hi everyone, I'm a young woman with hypoglycemia looking for a roommate who'll provide living support in exchange for rent reduction. I live in a beautiful condo in Yorkville. As my roommate, you would share a beautiful two-bedroom, two-bathroom condo in a luxury building with fabulous amenities, indoor, outdoor pools, spa facilities, gym, lounges, and study areas. I need someone who could prepare a weekly meal plan and buy groceries and make dinner six nights a week and be comfortable injecting glucogen if my blood sugar drops too low. You'll have an app that sends alerts if this happens. It's important that my roommate shares an anti-diet mindset. I'm looking for someone quiet, clean, and responsible and preferably experienced with caring for someone with hypoglycemia, a nursing student or a loved one with type 1 diabetes or pancreatic tumors, no smoking and no parking available. I have a service animal, toy poodle, hypoallergenic, doesn't shed, and I'd charge $1,000 a month all inclusive. Yeah, like maybe you could make an arrangement that sort of worked for everybody. But from the way that this reads, you can sort of tell that it wouldn't be worth the trouble. And yeah, what? You need to be a nursing student and also have time to do all of this. Making a meal plan, buying groceries and making dinner six nights a week. And yeah, pretty much being there at all times if they need you. Yeah, I don't know about that. Looking for concept artists. Create detailed little nightmares art style concept art pieces. Length of project, about 20 to 30 concept art pieces. The rates and payment method, put in credits. So pretty much exposure. Status, closed. Oh my God, the Discord reactions. 24 clown reactions. And they spelled out what with a middle fingers up emoji. Hi, is this available? You can buy those new for less. Why would you bother messaging them if you could buy them for less? Yeah, it is still available. However, I'm curious about where you can buy it new for less. At Home Depot. So they send a screenshot of one at Home Depot for $198. And they respond with a thumbs up. If you want to get it at Home Depot, I can't stop you. But I'm currently firm on my price and I'm not in a rush to sell. If you're still interested, let me know. Nice try, buddy. My neighbor wrote a book about the interesting things that he heard as Santa. Bargain. After visiting and taking pictures with a child, I overheard the mum talking to the elf. Can we get a discount? She asked. She was told there were no discounts and she continued bargaining. I don't think these pictures are very nice. I'll take them if I can get a 50% discount. Again, she was told there were no discounts, but new photos could be taken. She persisted. I'll take these if you at least knock off 25%. I don't want to retake any more poses. She did purchase the pictures. One of the children said to me, Mum talks to everybody like that. She wants stuff for free all the time. Oh no, that's so sad. Imagine being like that and your own child says that to people. Hey, I love your nuggets. Could I get some for free? In return, I'll shout you out to my 1,000 Instagram followers. It could be a great opportunity.
opportunity for your business. Uh, this is McDonald's, the biggest restaurant chain on earth. Wow, I didn't even want your nuggets anyway. Ha ha. Good luck without my audience. Next. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. The safely endangered webtoons are always so good. So, my subway is hiring and we need three people ASAP. We're severely understaffed, so if anyone is looking for a part or full-time, text me and I can set you up with an interview. Leave your name and number for me and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. The sooner I find the people, the sooner I can stop doing double shifts and opening and closing and taking a toll on my sleep. Along with the business meetings with HR, so please DM me ASAP. The starting pay is $10. I know it isn't much, but it's something. We need real... Oh my God, have you heard of a full stop? <laughs> this is so hard to read. We need reliable people. We don't want people who make excuses to leave early or to be late. And if you are late and I see how many times, you're out. And if you slack off, you'll be answering to me or our higher-ups. If you're caught stealing, etc., you're automatically fired. No second chances. And if you're not available on your day off and it continues to be like that, you'll be fired. So pick your battles with me. And if you ever go to the hospital and or call out sick, we will want a doctor's note prior the next day. No excuses, no BS. If you don't bring a doctor's note, we will give you one pass. But after that, there'll be consequences along to write-ups. If you receive three write-ups, you're gone. No buts, no this, that, buy, be arch, just like that. I don't mean to come off as a be arch, but that's just how I do things. And how my boss sees fit what I or they say goes, period. If you don't like how I do stuff or we do stuff, there's the door. I'll open it for you too. That was probably the hardest thing I've ever read in so long. Just the way that they wrote that was almost impossible to read. And yes, so happy that it's over. I don't think anybody's gonna hire for this job. Not really making it seem very appealing. Oh, one star. I called to see if they had a military discount. And yes, they do. 5%. They can't even do 10%. Glad my service means nothing to these people. Hi, so-and-so gave me your number. I'm so-and-so's wife. I've heard so much about you. They really love you. Hey there. Haha, -ha, she would. I love her too. I've also heard a lot about you too. Are you super excited for your mummy makeover? Oh my god, yes. I feel like I've been planning it forever and it's finally here. I'm sure so-and-so probably gave you the rundown, but I land on the 24th. Surgery date is on the 26th, but pre-op appointment is the 25th. And then February 1st would be my only follow-up before going home. Oh, you have? I'm sure it can be stressful. So I'm literally right next to the airport. Can you give me the address of your doctor's office so I can see where it is from my place? Yeah, sure. Oh, wow, that's near so-and-so. That's a 54-minute drive, but with traffic, it could be easily an hour and a half from me. Well, this is what I need, obviously. A ride from the airport when I get there, and then a ride for my pre-op, and then for my surgery day, and a ride back that day, along with a ride to my only post-op on the first. Also, a ride to the airport when I leave. <laughs> How dare you? Oh my god. The audacity. Hmm, maybe you'd be able to use my car for the non-surgery appointments? Because that's a two, three hour journey for me out of the day, and I have to work. I work from home, but I wouldn't be able to take that much time out of my day. That many days, if that makes sense. Also, so soon being next week? No, I do not drive. I don't have my license either. You couldn't tell your job that you need to take me to the doctors? <laughs> this is unbelievable. I mean, for one day probably, but you need to go two days in a row and one day I'd need to wait for you while you got your surgery and then drive back? Typically, I can take my laptop and work from somewhere, but we're right in the middle of launching our brand new membership. So I'm in meetings constantly all day. You couldn't Uber there? I didn't realize it was in Kendall. What? Uber an hour and 45 away? This whole thing was for me to save money since the operation itself cost me over my budget. I budgeted for a hotel near, but the procedure ate into that cost. Wow, sounds like a you problem. And also, I'm totally cool with you staying in my guest room for a few, but after surgery, you'd probably need a caretaker of some sort, and I wouldn't be able to do that. Also, would you just door dash a food to yourself while you're here? How would this all work? Um, you don't cook? What do you eat? Oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong with some people? Sometimes, but my boyfriend and I will go out with friends, we'll go out to eat, do takeout and eat at his mum's, etc. So we'd need to what? Be in charge of feeding you? Well, you guys are eating anyways. I don't get what the hassle you're making 
thing is, David said he could give you $100 to take me to my appointments. I'm sorry, it's not about the money. You caught me in an extremely busy time last night and I didn't close my laptop until 1.30 in the morning. We're about to launch our membership product and I can't risk not being able to make a meeting on something with your doctor's office being that far. I don't want to be mean, but you guys just laid this all on me last minute. I can't just reorganize my priorities. Wow, so basically they lied to me? Cool, okay. I don't know what they said to you, but I'm letting you know that my guest room and bathroom is a thousand percent open for you to stay in while you're in town. You'd need to get your own transportation to and from your appointments and provide your own food while you're here. Anything else I cannot do? Use your thinking brain. If I have to Uber six times there and back, it's an hour away and it'll cost me as much as getting a hotel next door. What part of saving money by doing this do you not understand? Oh my god. <laughs> I have literally never read somebody so entitled and rude. <laughs> and by the way, this was posted yesterday and it has 60,000 upvotes. Person who posted this, please show them. People that are like this need to know that they can't be like this. <laughs> the part where you want me to take 10 plus hours out of work scattered on different days, short notice during an extremely busy week, that's the part I don't understand. I'm even extending my vehicle for you to use. Bring a friend with a driver's license and have them drive you with my car to your appointments. Wow, lol, okay. Let me just pay a ticket for someone to come to Miami with me for free. This is insane. Insane. Now what am I going to do? Everything has been scheduled and paid for. Wow, thank you that that's the end of it. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys know, on this channel we like to be kind and we like to keep things relatively wholesome, but there's nothing wholesome about that. <laughs> like I've read about people before that think that the world revolves around them, but not on a level like this. That was unbelievable. Yeah, like the top comment says, so she booked and paid for this entire procedure procedure with having zero details and arrangements in place. Oh my god, please don't let her in your home. Stuff like this is the sort of stuff that you wouldn't even imagine was real, but it is. Choosing beggar calls me names and curses me for not sharing my prep class password with her. Hey, did you change the password? Hey, yeah, keeps logging me out actually. Could not log in last night. Said that some other devices were actively using this account. Oh yeah, I logged in on my friend's phone as well. She's preparing for the exam as well. Ah, okay. So, pass. <laughs> I'll be using the study mats during my leave this week, so maybe next week I can let you use my bookshelf app. Sorry. How am I supposed to study then? There's a Telegram group where you can get the older edition of the ebooks. It's just the same. Also, you can find the official study material in your registration portal. Why don't you have these materials and let me have the prep class mats? This is not justified. You let me use it for two weeks and now suddenly you want to study specifically from the BT prep books? Well, for starters, I paid $450 for these study materials and VODs. Secondly, you said that you just want to look over the materials to decide if you like the BT materials or not. Wow. <laughs> Most importantly, you've shared the password with probably more than six people and committed screenshot violations in the website. You and your friends have also made markdown comments on the study materials that too with wrong formula and explanation. Dude, there's no need to mansplain here. You probably get thrice the amount of my salary. Don't have to be a ding dong about sharing a password. I'm single, living with my family. I had a breakup just a month back. It's not easy, you know, to afford 450-ish in a jiffy. Sorry, what? We do the same work on different teams. You're a year senior to me as well, so I don't know how my paycheck is thrice as yours. I'm sorry, Sorry for your troubles, but I won't be sharing the password anymore to you or your friends. Oh, well, of course. No need of explaining it to a misogynistic person who loves to mansplain. <laughs> what? Oh, because helping someone is so uncool, right? You ain't gonna pass that exam, even after 20 attempts. Just a freak off. Can't even help a person in need, you bloody misogynistic pig. <laughs> oh my god. You bloody misogynistic pig. Holy. <laughs> 
like, hey, bestie, what's the password? <laughs> as soon as they don't get it, you're a misogynistic pig. <laughs> My naive boyfriend tried selling his couch on Facebook Marketplace and got a bunch of choosing beggars, so I offered to make the ad for him. So far, 80 inch for sale in the DC area, color dark gray, material fabric, dimensions 80 by 35 by 30, used good, $100 cash, no smokes, no rips or tears, pickup only, no delivery, sorry, local pickup only, a truck would be needed for the buyer to pick up, please read the frequently asked questions because I'm tired of spam and harassment, is the price negotiable? No, not online, not on site, not ever. I don't care if you think the price is unfair. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're a single mum. I don't care if it's your birthday. I'm just trying to sell a couch. Can you deliver? It says pick up only, but I don't have a car. Well, you better start going to the gym then. Do you have a truck I can borrow? Nope, that's on you. I'm coming from Ohio. Can you meet me halfway? No. <laughs> Not only am I a Wolverine, but it says pick up only. Can you help me lift it to my car? I'm an underweight blonde girl. Does it look like I can lift a couch? This is bad customer service. Well, I'm not running a business. I'm selling a couch. <laughs> You'll never sell your couch with that attitude. Then stay out of my DMs, Karen. Yeah, the stuff that people will try is unbelievable. Like, yeah, I know it's a hundred dollars, but could I take it for five? And could you also send me 30? And yeah, like obviously deliver it. Where the hell is my freaking government check? What the hell will a thousand dollars do? Buy me ultra padded charmin so my squeaky clean ass can stay nice and dry while I'm drowning in tears from freaking boredom? Jesus freaking Christ on a bike. The government can keep their loose change. It's time that my friends and family step up to the plate and offer something that'll carry me through this this time. Please comment your donation amounts and whether you're paying me cash, check, Venmo, etc. No donations are lower than 50 for ease of consolidation. I'll give you 350 cash. Call me at this number. Lol, you gave me a strip club's number. Yes, I did. Now you can apply because that's how much strippers make a night. Go frick yourself and shove a chewed wet corn cob up your butt. Wow, that's a lovely thing to say to somebody. <laughs> so the government giving you a thousand dollars isn't enough so to fund your lifestyle instead of you know funding it yourself you want donations from your friends and family and what you don't see a problem here or you don't feel bad about doing that bride and groom requests no perfume on the women and the men are free labor on top of paying three hundred and sixty dollars a head oh god speaking of wedding so my mate's niece is getting married the invite stated that everyone is required to come early to help set up the marquee and decorations. It's $360 per head to be there and the men are required to then help break the marquee back down. <laughs> also, no one, especially women, are allowed to wear overpowering scents as the bride doesn't want them competing with the flowers that she's chosen and no floral colors as it'll be distracting in photos. And once the cleanup is done, could everyone promptly leave? And I'm not joking. What in the hell? Believe it or not, we've definitely read worse ones about weddings. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people will straight away say no to this. Choosing beggar who I gave a friend's a friend discount to and finished their commission by the time they wanted it because they begged me for it. Scams and blocks me. Why did you refund? Didn't you already get the painting? I can see that you saw my message. Send me back the painting. I made a thousand changes for you out of my time when you begged me to finish it in less than two weeks. I can't believe you did this. You're a piece of crap. Oh, it was just a few changes. I had to redo parts because you couldn't decide what you even wanted and I did it all sacrificing time for myself. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you send the money back or the painting? Lol, please? So yeah, obviously you need to show this to the person who recommended you to this person. They 100% need to know about this. Like, hey, your friend asked me for a friend's a friend discount and I did a lot to get it to them and they literally scammed me. 
Yeah, not cool. Choosing Beggar wants a fish tank with everything included for free. My son is autistic. We're going to have a rough few months after losing a loved one. My mum. I was wondering if you consider free and free delivery. Please, I'm located in so-and-so. With my son being older and having autism, animals seem to soothe him a lot and really make him happy. So therefore, I want to start small. I'm in need of starting brand new and sadly, I don't have a license. Hi, sorry. It's $35 firm and pickup only. I don't drive, so there's no way for me to deliver it. And I'm sorry for your loss, but I can't give any of these things away for free. The money I earn from these will go into my savings, so I'll be able to pay my rent. Yeah, of course. And if you can't afford the fish tank, then you're probably not going to be able to afford to actually have fish. Does anybody know a personal trainer that can come to my house to help me lose weight for free? Yeah, well, we were just talking about entitlement. <laughs> and why should a personal trainer trainer go to your house and train you for free when they could personally train somebody else and actually get paid for it and yeah like the top comment says someone should reply with youtube yeah like if you're looking for fitness advice and you don't want to pay anybody youtube and google are pretty much your best friends hello i need your time and your service i don't want to pay for anything wedding on the 10th of april 2021 good morning my client is a well-known social media influencer who was planning to get married at the so-and-so on the 10th of April. In the lead up to her wedding beginning this summer, she would like a documentary style video, an hour long, and photos taken at bridal fittings which can be shared with her followers. On the day of the wedding, she'd like a video documenting the whole day, must be one hour plus in length, and a package that includes approximately a thousand photos. In exchange, she's willing to extensively promote your business to followers on Instagram. Instagram and Facebook, a combined amount of 55k, including story shoutouts, and we'll offer a discount of at least 25% on your packages. Just so you're aware, we've approached four other similar businesses in your area, so a fast response will be beneficial to your business. Wow, oh my god. That sentence at the end? A fast response will be beneficial to your business. Acting like you're doing them a favor. <laughs> Having 55 5,000 followers doesn't mean that 55,000 people are gonna want wedding photography and videography and there's no way that even the majority of them are in the same place as this business. Wow, the audacity. And because somebody has a following doesn't mean that you shouldn't pay them. It's weird that they're not doing the opposite. Why aren't they thinking like 55,000 people are looking at them, possibly even looking up to them? So maybe I shouldn't rip companies off. <laughs> Am I the a-hole for wanting my son's classmate to draw him too because she drew their entire class. I am 41 female and I have two sons. This post is about my older son which is 14. Recently they took a class photo. One of the girls in his class likes drawing and decided to use the photo as a reference to draw. She drew the entire class except for four or five people. She even drew the teachers and my son showed me the drawing on his phone and said that he was upset that he wasn't there. But he he didn't mind it. I got upset that she didn't draw my son, so I decided to message her parents. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you talking about? I told them that their daughter drew everybody except my son. Her parents apologized and said that they'll ask their daughter why. Two days later, my son didn't get any apology or drawing from this girl. Oh yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> because they have nothing to apologize about. I decided to message her parents again and it turns out they never told her anything about it. Oh my god, I got mad, so I decided instead of messaging the parents, I'll message the girl. As soon as I messaged her asking why she didn't draw my son, she said that it took too long and that she didn't have enough room. And after she said that, she blocked me. I got even more frustrated, so I told my son to text her. He said that he didn't want to and that it would be embarrassing to ask for a drawing since she was probably mad at me. Yeah, fair enough. I called this BS and I went to their school the next day. I found the girl when I asked why she blocked me. I might have been the a-hole here. Oh, are you joking? <laughs> she didn't respond and just looked at me in the eyes. She seemed uninterested, so I got mad and demanded her to draw my son. This can't be real. My son saw me and called me insane. He told me that I'm overreacting. I told him not to take any BS like this from other people and asked the girl to draw him again. She told me to give her money if I wanted a drawing, and I told her that she was stupid and that it took her a day to make a drawing of 
for like 30 people. She just asked me to leave and that she wasn't interested in drawing my son. I got furious and left. And before I left, I heard my son saying sorry because I was acting like a complete psychopath. I called my husband and explained this to him. He said I was immature to handle this situation like this. Yeah, that's an understatement. And that it was her decision whether to draw him. Am I the a-hole? Yeah, no, there's no way that's real. That could be the most absurd thing I've read in a long time. Like, who even has time to do this? It can't be real. Like, there's no way they're writing this. And they're thinking, oh, do you think I actually was the one in the wrong here? I better go on Am I the A-hole and see if everybody agrees with me. Like, what? <laughs> can't believe we just read that. Hire a foreign maid or cook process. Hello, I'm a 24-year-old male homeowner who has a very busy work schedule and doesn't have the time to clean or cook after work. Already try going down the stay-at-home girlfriend route, but can't find one that knows how to cook or clean. American women, uh, wow. <laughs> so, I'm looking to hire a foreign maid or housekeeper or cook for a one-year term, renewable, and pay them a fair wage, fair for a foreign worker, of $100 a week for about 20 to 25 hours of work providing free housing and free food. I don't want to use an agency because they charge ridiculous fees. Finding a person is not the problem. I have a few that want to do this position. Questions. One, what is the process to hire said worker? Two, how much would it cost in immigration? Three, what visas are needed and would be valid for this? This is straight up disgusting. I want to pay them a fair wage, fair for a foreign worker. Ugh. I know I haven't said it in a while, but icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. I need four professional code writers that can build sophisticated app and social platform, hard work for an extended amount of time, 18 to 30 weeks, and no pay up front or guarantee of outcome or pay. But I can almost assure you it'll be worth it. If it is a success, probably will be, you will be competent Compensated. Yeah, but probably, definitely won't be compensated. Like, why would four professional code writers do something without being paid for 18 to 30 weeks? <laughs> oh yeah, they wouldn't. Hello, my son started daycare, but he's not very fond of it. I'm looking for a babysitter who can come to my home and watch him five days a week, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. I'm located here, and I'm willing to pay $40 a day, and we'll pay you every Monday. Let me know if if anyone is interested or know someone who will be, I can't afford to pay per hour, that's all I can offer. So yeah, like $5.70 an hour or something. Oh yeah, that's so reasonable. What's the worst one that we've seen? Like $2 an hour or something? Like believe it or not, we've had a lot worse than this. A queen bed frame? Is this still available? Yeah. If so, can I come pick it up today? And if I do that, would you be willing to do it for free? Also, does anybody smoke? Is there any stains or damage done to it? No, I can't do it for free. And no, no significant damage or smoke or paint chips here and there. Okay, why are you doing it for just $85? Because I no longer need it and I think it's a reasonable price. I mean, aren't you just trying to get rid of it? Not for free. You can get a bed frame from Walmart for $20 if you're desperate. Yes, you can. And you can also get one off here for free. But everybody who doesn't want to spend money on some hand-me-down piece of crap ugly bro broken bed frame is desperate. Then count me in, LMAO. You're obviously the broke, desperate one selling an ugly ass bed frame for $85. Oh, does someone need some money? Ha ha ha. Reporting you. For what? <laughs> selling a bed frame? Are you serious? Because you're asking to have it for free? Go for it. If it's so ugly, why are you asking for it? Oh, short guy syndrome. So is your truck. I looked at it again and I'm all set, LMAO. Crap is busted. Well, why are you doing this? Yeah, true. Ha ha. Who cares? And you're asking for 85? What the hell? Go and suck on your mummy's boob some more short boy. Little boy. I'm honestly kind of shocked a little bit. That was unbelievable. They got so upset because they didn't want to sell the bed or just give it away for free that they start insulting them and their appearance and saying, yeah, that 
they're a short little man with short guy syndrome. You know what it's similar to? When a nice guy or somebody gets rejected and they're like, oh, what? You're ugly anyway. What? You thought I was going to go out with you? Ew. It's literally the same. Your art is so darn cute. Can you draw me as an anime character, please? Oh, thank you. My commissions are full right now, though. Commission means I have to pay. Yeah, I don't take free art requests, but you have only 1,500 followers, LMAO. Why are you charging for a drawing? I have more followers than you. I can use it as my DP and then credit you like a shout out. My guy, even if I have only five followers, I'm not going to draw for free. Not for free. I can advertise you. Yeah, sorry. I'll pass. Have a nice day. What the hell then? Enjoy being a starving artist sellout. You're going to go nowhere, LMAO. Oh yeah, because them drawing you a profile picture, that's really going to change their life. <laughs> it's so unbelievable. I know people just don't want to pay. Like, I refuse to believe that they don't actually understand what they're doing because you need to pay people for their time. The time that they put into drawing something. It's not a matter of how many followers they have. I feel like they know that, but they're just trying to not pay. Hi, I'd really like to enjoy my birthday today. I'd like to get my hair done for free, makeup done, manicure and pedicure, be pampered by any stylist who can help me out. That would be great. It's been very tough for me and my family and this would really relieve some pressure off me. Let me know. Thank you. DM me. Today, I'd like to get my hair done for free. <laughs> okay. Are they actually being serious or are they just trying to see, you know, like what they can get from someone? Today, I'd like to get my hair done for free and makeup and manicure and pedicure and pampered. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people would. Every time we read stuff like this, I always think, would you do this for somebody else if you were a stylist? Like, probably not. I'm looking for a reliable free car, any model or make, preferably 2016 or better, that someone is willing to give away. I have three young children and praying that God blesses me with a car. I trust God because he's faithful in his promises. 2016 Honda Accord. So you want a 2016 Honda Accord for free? Hey, can I have a free car, please? But don't make it any older than 2016. Ew. Job details. My dream, a million dollar business. Hi there. Hope you're doing well. This is your next challenge. My dream would be to create a fully functional online business with A, products that also don't need stock and make me millions a year for only $100 if possible. From the logo to the website design, I want you to make this a $100 business a $100 masterpiece. Wait, what? You want a fully functioning online business with a product that doesn't need stocks and that makes a million dollars a year for $100? Why would somebody give you a million dollar business for $100? Hi, can you draw me? Yes, I can draw you for $15. No, I can't pay. Ah, uh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I do charge for my art. Have a nice day. Hello, this is so-and-so's mum. They died from a car crash yesterday. They wanted to say that they really liked your art. Can you draw them as a funeral gift? No, sorry, $15. And they're only charging $15. That's even more frustrating. And then also for them to sink this low. Like, oh, hi. Yeah, so-and-so, they died just now, so... Would you do it for free? Yeah, like the top comment says, Oh, my son died. I'd better check his texts and get some art. <laughs> yeah, this is really what I'm worried about right now. Wanted caretaker in the so-and-so area, person or couple, must be self-funded, must be self-contained, power, water, bathroom access available, but no wage. So what, come and be a caretaker for free? Free? That sounds like an amazing deal. I'm sorry, guys. It's way too early in the morning for this. Hope you guys are doing amazing, by the way. From a Facebook group for non-profit directors. Subject, Parade Disappointment. Dear so-and-so, I've withheld the email for two weeks, but after recently attending another local parade, I couldn't help but feel overwhelming disappointment about the parade. My four children and I attend parades throughout the Midwest. 
Yes, the candy selection that we experienced at each parade is a source of joy for my family. It's something that we look forward to each year. However, this year's parade didn't provide the candy selection that we were accustomed to seeing and expected to see. Oh, so you're saying that this might be an issue with your expectations? Yeah, maybe. There were no full-size candy bars handed out by any of the floats. Wow, when um, Mr. Burns is like throwing fish guts on everybody. In fact, several handed out old candy that nobody likes. One float even had the audacity to hand out mints. We were most surprised by the floats that handed out nothing and were shocked that one float handed out ice cubes. Ice cubes are not candy. Please take the time to vet parade floats prior to being allowed into the parade to make sure that the candy quality and quantity is at an acceptable level. I expect to see this change prior to next year's parade so that my children don't have to experience the disappointment that they did this year. Yeah, but your children are only being disappointed because you're setting them up for something that isn't gonna happen. Like, you don't have that expectation. And don't ride all of your happiness for this event on whether or not they have bloody candy bars. Who cares? <laughs> it's just greedy and entitled. That's all this is. Like, I'm gonna have these unrealistic expectations and <laughs> if you don't meet them, I'll be very upset. Like, you know that they're gonna be upset the next parade as well because they've already said, I expect this to be better by next time. Like, it's probably not gonna be better and you're still gonna be disappointed. Last year's holiday card giftee that I got still makes me laugh on redditgifts.com. Likes and dislikes. The greeting card must have a money and gift card holder as well because I'll request a Visa gift card along with it. The gift card amount can be either $25, $50 or $100. If you can't buy a gift card, then the money is the replacement option, which I'll request for a $50 bill. Thank you and happy holidays. <laughs> so they sent a card without any money, of course. I like the holiday card, but I asked for money or a gift card with it. So despite liking the gift, I didn't like how it failed to follow the requirement I gave them. I want to know what they gave people so bad because I bet you they weren't giving other people money or gift cards, but they expect it from everybody else. Is there anybody in the area that has a barbering background? I can't afford to get my hair cleaned up and I have an undercut that is growing to be an annoyance and I need somebody that knows what they're doing to clean it up and whatnot. If not for free, then perhaps as cheap as possible. If you're one of those people, DM me with what you charge. Must be able to come to me or be within walking distance. Yeah, I feel a little bit bad for this one because, you know, they just want their hair to look good. But at the same time, you can't expect somebody to do it for free and also come to you. I finally encountered one. Today, I was at the grocery store and I had a gentleman strike up a conversation with me. After nice pleasantries, he asked if I had $5 so he could go and get something to eat. I said, sorry, I don't have any cash on me. So he asked if I could get him something to eat. I said, sure, yeah, but you only have five minutes because my Uber was coming. And I said only three items. He comes back with 10 items, four of which were gallon drinks, a $12 pack of ham and a loaf of bread, four different varieties of cookies and ho-ho kind of things. I was shocked and I said, that's a bit too much. I'll get you the lunch meat and the bread and a drink. He proceeded to yell at me and call me some very nasty names. I watched his tirade in disbelief and he told the cashier, never mind, and walked away. I just chuckled to myself, waiting for my Uber inside the store because he was outside and I'm still shocked. Yeah, that's not good because you want to help people, but it's like, oh no, this is not what we agreed on. You're taking advantage of me. A guy in my restaurant complained about food that somebody bought for him. So I work at KFC. Our dining room is open for sit down. So today a man came in and was asking around for change. We don't really like when this happens, but we mostly ignore it since the person will either buy something cheap or leave relatively quickly. I think the man got like $2 and he was trying to get my cashier to cut him a deal. None of our menu options are even close to $2 and the cheapest you'll see is like 7 or 8 So yeah, naturally the cashier declined him. A family walked 
in a bit after this, the guy was still there, and I assume still asking for change, and they bought him a meal. The meal that they got was 11 or so dollars, a three piece with one side, so it wasn't on the low end. After I went and I packed both of the orders, I ran the family's order out first since it was on the same ticket, I assume the other meal was for them later. But when I brought the three piece out, the guy stopped me soon after I gave it to him and told me that he wanted fries. Normally wrong sides are no big deal, they either forgot to order it or we rang it in wrong. They do usually get fixed with no problem. But this guy not only got a meal bought for him, but he was also rude in asking for fries. He didn't yell or anything, but his tone sounded like he expected me to know that he wanted fries, even though it said mashed potato on our screen. I changed it for him and I went about my day. When we left though, we found his table a mess. He'd left all of the trash and some sauces on the table, like just a complete mess. The audacity of someone to not only complain about food that somebody graciously bought for them, but to leave the table a mess for no reason. Yeah, like you'd expect people to be grateful, but a lot of the time it's the complete opposite. Not good. I am looking for folks who can shoot and edit video content for a project. This is beyond reels and TikTok. The ability to tell a story of at least 10 minutes is important. Experience in documentary, outdoor and food would be helpful. Please write to me here with a few links to your work. Needn't be in food. At this point, it's a pilot, but it can convert into a paid project. Should be willing to travel if required, but currently Mumbai. Yeah, I feel like you need to consider this maybe being a paid project. <laughs> oh, I'm an influencer. I'm entitled to whatever I want. <laughs> it's so annoying. You know, like do something for me that is worth money. But no, I'm not going to pay you for it. I work in Manhattan and I was leaving a place called Black Burger. A homeless man approached me as I walked out and asked if I can give him cash for a burger. I don't like giving cash, so I offered to take him into the restaurant. I just walked out of to buy him lunch. He looks at me and says, I'd rather just have the cash. I'm more of a five guys man, lol. <laughs> he got nothing from me. Wow. Like, hello, random person. Can I have money for a burger, please? Considering that we're at a burger place. What's that? You're going to buy me a burger? No, <laughs> I don't want this burger. Interesting how you're not in a position to really argue with this. <laughs> a free 1.2 cubic foot microwave. Hi Gina, is this still available? Yes, it is. We really need one. Could you please deliver it to so-and-so? Badly. Oh, wow. Won't deliver for someone in need? <laughs> no, I've got stuff to do. It's free. Oh, wow. Won't deliver something that's already free? <laughs> How dare you? Looks like I'm responsible for a client's marriage ending because I don't want to work for free. Go figure. Hey, are you still doing fitness plans? I'm looking to get one for my wife as a late Christmas present. Yeah, I am indeed. What kind of a plan are you looking for? Just a general weight loss plan. Do you do meal plans as well? If you do, I'd like to pick one of those up as well. Yeah, I can do both meal plans and exercise plans for a combined fitness and meal plan. It's 50 bucks. Sweet. Got us some new recipes for the new year. Ha 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 ha. So yeah, does that sound good to you? Yeah, for sure. Also, do you think you can get it done before two? tomorrow. She's leaving with a friend for a getaway thing and I want to give it to her in person before she goes. Oh, I mean, I suppose if I started on it now, I could get it done by around 3 or 4 p.m. GMT tomorrow. Is that okay? Also, can I get your wife's measurements and height, weight, age, activity level to calculate how many calories she burns for the meal plan? That time sounds good. Also, I know you're not going to like the sound of this, but I don't actually know her measurements exactly and if I asked her, it'd kind of ruin the surprise and also seems kind of offensive. If I had to guess, she's around 160 to 70 pounds, 5 foot 6 ish and 34. Doesn't really leave the house apart from going shopping. Okay, I suppose I can work with that. If she has any exercise preferences or injuries, please let me know. Hi, the fitness plan is ready now. Do you have an email I can send it to or should I send it to you via a Dropbox link? As for payment, my PayPal 
PayPal is this email here. I can also take payment via crypto. PayPal works for me. I'll be getting paid on the 2nd of January, so I'll be able to pay you then. Okay, I'll send you the plan upon payment. Is there any chance you'd be able to send it today? My wife is heading away in an hour and I don't want her to leave empty handed. Well, if you're able to send me a deposit of $30, I'll send it to you. I never send any plans without payment. I'm sorry if it's inconvenient for you, but it's my personal policy. Please have faith. I promise you, I'll pay you on the second. My marriage is in a bad enough spot as it is, and I can't afford to be embarrassed again. I already told her that she'd be getting a present today. Please, I need this. I'm sorry, but if you can't afford to pay for a fitness plan, then I'm not able to give it to you. You asked me to make you a fitness plan on very short notice over the Christmas period. Usually, I would have added an additional fee for a rushed order, but this time I decided to give you a bit more leeway. I'm sorry, but I can't make any more concessions. I don't understand why you'd agree on a price despite knowing you wouldn't be able to pay for it. If you had a wife, you'd understand. If you've made it, I don't understand why you're withholding it from me when you made it. Yeah, pretty sure you do, buddy. <laughs> you need to pay for it. My marriage is at stake here and you're not sending it to me. Do you take some kind of pleasure from this? Why are you being difficult on purpose? <laughs> the audacity. I feel like you're the only one being difficult here. I'm sorry, but I can't send it to you without payment. I don't make fitness plans for fun. This is my job. Tell your wife that her late Christmas present will have to come a little later. Go to hell. Wow. <laughs> the fact that they were like, why are you being so difficult? When they were the only person being difficult the entire time. But yeah, something tells me they weren't gonna pay ever. <laughs> Prices have been pre-haggled for your shopping convenience. <laughs> That's such a funny sign. No, come on, seriously. What's the lowest you'll go? I know it's $5, but will you take 50 cents? Hey, do you still have that skull tank top from like four years ago? Yeah, but I don't think it's that old. Do you want to know what brand it is or something? No, I just wanted to borrow it for an outfit. I thrifted jeans and a jacket that would look so good with it. Oh, the fabric doesn't stretch like at all. I don't think it would be comfortable. I know, but I could cut it in the back or on the sides. <laughs> oh my god. You said you just wanted to borrow it. Yeah, I know. I'll give it back. I wouldn't want it back if you cut it up. Then can I just have it? Lol, no. <laughs> um, why? Sorry, but it's my favorite shirt and it wouldn't fit you. What, because I'm fat? It's hard to find cheap plus size clothes and you can just go into any store and get a new shirt. I can't. Can I just have it? I shouldn't have to go to plus size stores to get a shirt. Can you just let me have this? I can't afford to just get a new shirt. You get 200 bucks a month from your parents. All my clothes are thrifted because I can't afford anything else. This is one of the only actually cute things I own, so I'm keeping it. Most of my allowance goes towards necessities like food that I literally need to live. When you thrift, you buy clothes that are bigger than you need, which leaves less for people like me. So since people like you take all of the plus size clothing, the least you could do is give me one little shirt. Oh, how dare you? Oh my god. Do you really think I'm so fat that I would ruin your favorite shirt by wearing it one time? Oh my god, the audacity. <laughs> when they said the fabric doesn't stretch like at all, I don't think it would be comfortable. And they said, I know, but I could cut it in the back or on the sides. Could you now? Wow. I didn't think you could do that if it it wasn't your shirt. <laughs> like, I don't even understand how you can feel like you can say that to someone. Like, oh yeah, you know that thing that's yours? Can I have it? I'll just cut it up and, you know, ruin it. <laughs> oh my god. And the fact that they don't think they're doing anything wrong? <laughs> Amazing. Choosing beggar brother demands thousands of dollars of catered food for wedding. My piece of crap brother dropped a bomb on us on Christmas that he was finally marrying his longtime girlfriend. Since he lost all of his inheritance, mostly stocks that we all received when we turned 18. Since he lost that inheritance on cryptocurrency, he's broke. So he's having everyone in the family cover certain expenses. Since I worked for years in fancy restaurants, including a sous chef for a James Beard award-winning chef, I get to cover the meal. After pressure from my parents, I relented. This morning he called me to tell me what he wanted. Attendees, 250 invites, all with a plus one allowed cocktail hour with
with tray past hors d'oeuvres. He's still working on what that will entail. Main course will be plated, not buffet style. A beef dish, filet mignon served with Yorkshire pudding and roasted asparagus. A poultry dish, red currant glazed duck breast with fondant potatoes and grilled Brussels sprouts. And a vegetarian dish, chickpea bolognese with cauliflower pasta and mushroom gratin. Dessert, a collection of shoe pastries, other pastries and mini cheesecakes. To make matters worse, the kitchen rental at the venue is $1,000, which includes the cleaning fee, but not any cookware or utensils. I'll have to pay for additional cooks and servers and bartenders and busing staff and the serving ware. I'm beyond livid. More frustrating is that my parents have always babied him, and so when I called to let them know that I wasn't gonna do it, not if he's gonna be demanding all of this when getting it for free, I was told that I should call up my restaurant contacts and see if they would be willing to donate their time or the ingredients? What? Oh my god. That's such a big ask. Update. My parents had a heart to heart with him after discovering that he's been taking money from other relatives as well for years. They gave him an option of not taking any money for the wedding and they would pay for courses so that he would learn to be more responsible with his money or they would put an undisclosed amount of money in an account and hire a wedding planner who can use the money from that account but they would cut off all contact with him. There was apparently a lot of crying on both sides but ultimately he decided to take the cash. We were told to no longer help him out financially and they recommended not contacting him either. Is there a word for feeling happy, sad, relieved and disappointed all at the same time? Yeah, wow, that's intense. I don't really understand doing something like this when you know you can't afford it. You know, they're gonna be 250 people going and they all can have a plus one and they expect all of this stuff along with a really expensive wedding. Just sounds like a recipe for disaster. I knew her for like three days. Hey, my son's having a birthday party next weekend and I'm short two grand. Can you send it to me? Why would I do that? Because the woman you are pursuing has a child and we're a dual package. Yeah, well, you might just have to have a little bit of cake and ice cream at your place. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good response. Why would you need two grand if your son was having a birthday party? Like that's one thing that's confusing, but then there's also asking someone somebody for that two grand, which is a whole nother level. But yeah, I think you made the right choice by not just randomly giving them two grand. I'm looking for a full-time babysitter. I can only pay a hundred dollars a week. Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Friday, 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. and sometimes Saturday, 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. That's extremely illegal, not including that Saturday, that's about two dollars an hour while minimum wage is set. $7.25. You're asking them to work 50 and a half hours a week effectively. Doesn't matter how hard the work is, that's not right or legal. The minimum you could pay someone is about $3.66, not including the Saturday. Yeah, some people are just completely going for it. They're like, you know what? <laughs> I know this is completely unfair, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Maybe I can rip somebody off. Not good. So and so sent a brief and you're a match. Send your offer now, stay ahead ahead of the competition. Budget, US $40. Deliver by the 11th of January. Service graphics design. About the buyer, I am a businessman. Industry, art and design from United States. I'm interested in building a live streaming app similar to Netflix and Amazon. Something that could have original content and streaming plus stream content from other streaming apps. I want a professional designer who can design the app within four days. <laughs> My budget is fixed. Contact me if you can make it done within four days. Thanks. So what, $10 a day? Like they're obviously not being serious, are they? Like, do you want it to work or do you just want like an outline of what it's going to look like? Or do you want a logo for it? Or what, you want somebody to actually make a streaming service for you <laughs> in four days for $40? Incredible. Give me free food and let me me sit in your restaurant. I work at a locally owned Mexican restaurant. The owners are two of the most kind, compassionate and selfless people I've ever met. The reader board outside of the restaurant reads as follows. Hungry? No money? We will feed you. And they mean it. If you're hungry and you have no money, you can eat for free. There are a couple of exceptions to this. One, there is a limited menu available. And two, it must be to go. It's assumed that if somebody doesn't have money for food, they don't have money for a tip. That's not fair to the server.
servers. Last week, a family of four came in saying that they saw the sign and they would like to order food. I gave them the limited menu to choose from and this is the conversation that we had. Choosing beggar. I don't see fajitas on here. I want shrimp fajitas. Me, the only free options available are what's on the menu, sir. Choosing beggar. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't like these options. Can you ask your boss if I can get fajitas? I had to text my boss and surprise, surprise, he said no. Me, I'm sorry. He said he can't do fajitas for free. He then rolled his eyes and looked at the menu again. You guys need to expand the options on this menu, but I guess I'll take this and this and this. I rang their order in and I said I'd bring it out to them when it's ready. We want to eat here. We need a table. I'm sorry, but we only do to-go's on the free items. That's not going to work for us. We want to eat here. Wow, literally kick them out. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, but our policy is if you order off the free menu, you can only take it. Then this guy has the balls to cut me off by raising his hand up in the air. He then herds his family to the closest booth and sits down. I follow and I explain the policy again. I told them that if they wanted to dine in, that's fine. I'd cancel their free order and they can pay for their food. That got them out of the booth. The guy then demanded to speak to the owner. I again tell him that he's not available. I give him a business card instead. He actually says thanks for nothing after I handed him $50 worth of free food. The butt wipe actually left us a one star review on Yelp. The nerve of some people astonishes me. How is that even possible? Oh, that's so sad. How can people be that out of touch and <laughs> just downright rude? Wow, that's unbelievably upsetting. <laughs> Good on you for not just kicking them out immediately. I'm looking for a mattress and box springs. Need to be delivered. No car or ride. I need one for two adults. Bye. See ya. <laughs> I'm looking for a reliable painting company. I need someone to paint my 1800 square foot home. My budget is 250 and I need it done by Saturday. I'm only hiring companies with 4.5 plus star reviews. No smoking or eating lunch on my property. No loud music while you paint. You're here to work and act like it. Act professional and earn my business and you'll get referrals from me in the future. This could be an opportunity for someone who conducts themselves in a great way. When the choosing beggar acts like they're doing the other person a favor and asking them not to eat lunch? Bro, if anybody wants to do this and they probably don't, they're doing you a huge favor. I'm in need of some drinks for me and my two kids to get us by until the first. We drink Hawaiian punch, the blue kind. We drink iced tea, the lemon flavor. We don't believe in using commas or full stops. We drink Gatorade, Powerade. We don't have nothing until the first. I didn't want to come on here and ask, but I have no other option. I don't drive and I'm in so and so. Yeah, just drink some water, you'll be completely fine. I know this is super unbelievable, but you don't actually need Hawaiian punch to survive. All right, everyone, I have four passes to the PGA Championship given to me by a very generous tour member. Very, very cool. Can we find someone that might not be able to go normally? We will pay for any incidentals. Reply below if you know someone who'd love to go. How generous. The night before the tournament starts. Explain. The damn tournament starts tomorrow. You did a piss poor job of playing. Well, some people will literally complain about anything. That's so annoying. They're literally giving them away for free. No, that's not good enough. You should have planned it better. They're doing something awesome and they're just complaining about it. I need a personal chef for our family meals, daily dinners, as well as weekend breakfast, lunch, and dinners. Half the family is vegetarian. We are local and we look forward to having someone help create healthy, customized meals. We can't pay, but the pro bono experience you'll gain with picking eaters will be priceless and it'll look great on your resume. Plus, if we like what you cook, we'll give you a great recommendation. Yeah, like the top comment says, this has to be rage bait, right? Yeah, please tell me they're joking. Oh yes, if we do happen to like what you cook for us for free, we can definitely give you a recommendation. The absolute audacity. Free septic tank. Buyers must remove. I need it gone ASAP. Oh yeah, I really don't want to pay a lot of money to get my septic tank removed because surely that's super expensive. 
give. So yeah, we'll just get somebody to get it out for free. And their reward for this is probably a super used septic tank. Yeah, great deal. This comment, forbidden Nutella. Yeah, that's revolting. Needed, a small or baby goldfish for a new tank and very excited seven-year-old. Need tomorrow, Saturday, thanks. And what's the bet that somebody also gave them the fish tank? Because it doesn't make any sense that they go and buy a brand new fish tank, but they don't buy a goldfish to put in it. A hundred for the drone cash, I come to you. Sorry, I can't go that low. Come on, it's for a seven-year-old for Christmas. Honestly, I think this drone may be a bit advanced for a seven-year-old. Do they have any experience with drones? It uses a phone and an actual remote and joystick. I think I know what my kid can handle. Deal or not? I'm sorry, no deal. Good luck though. Thank you for ruining a kid's Christmas, a-hole. I hope you enjoy being a Grinch. Hey, you too, dude. I sincerely hope your kiddo has a glorious Christmas. Yeah, just because somebody won't sell you something that's worth money does not make them an a-hole. In fact, it's super a holy to even say this. Hi, sorry to message out of the blue. How are you doing? Can I ask a favor of you? Hey man, yeah, long time no speak. All good here, thanks. How's things on your end? And yeah, sure, what's up? Well, this is a bit random, but I'm in a little debt and I know you have some more cash at the moment. So I was wondering if you can give me some. Um, I can lend you some money if you're able to pay me back. I'm not rolling in it at the moment. I have to pay you back? Oh, come on, man. I thought we were mates. Is that a joke? No, I thought we were mates. It's obviously not. Yeah, and to be fair, it's probably for the best. And also, they said they were in debt. So they're going to get in more debt to somebody else so they can pay off a different debt. But no, they never even planned on paying them back. I need a financial miracle. Bills this month are ridiculous and I don't got a job. I'm running out of things to do and sell. Let me know if you need a job, bro. I don't want to work at your company, LMAO. Oh my God, no, I don't want a job. I just want you to give me money. And they actually laugh at them the entire... Entitlement. Hi, is the CRV still available? No, sorry, it's sold. For how much? 700. I would pay 500 for it. May I have it? Yeah, ha ha. I'm serious, I need a car. So you want me to get a sold car back and give it to you for less money than I sold it for? Yes, I need a car. No, they can't be serious, can they? I think they are serious. That's bloody horrifying. Barista. Okay, that'd be $4.84. Girl. Oh, how much would it be if I posted it for my 75,000 followers and tag? you. Barista, $4.84. Yeah, acting like they're doing them some huge favor, when in reality they just want stuff for free. Say you're an influencer and you do have a relationship with a company and they send you free stuff and like you are actually helping them out, that's completely fine. But you can't go to a coffee shop and be like, oh, can I get this for free because I've got followers? Definitely not. Hi, I'm in love with the cases. I was wondering if you wanted to collab. Oh, thanks so much. I'm glad you like them. What did you have in mind? If I got a case, I could post a my account for my followers to see. You'd get loads of orders. If you purchased a case, you'd be free to do whatever you want with it. I love seeing people share if they're happy with it. No, I meant you should give me one. Why would I do that? Because it's my dog on the case. Yeah, but everyone who orders has their own dog on their case. If we gave them away, we wouldn't have any customers. Are you not giving it to me then? Sorry, I'd be paying out of my own pocket and I do this to pay rent. And they called them a C word. Oh my God. How absolutely positively revolting. Yuck. Like, I'm sorry, but what are you doing? <laughs> what sort of a person in this situation where they're the one who's being super annoying calls them a C word? I don't know what it is that makes somebody think they can say something like this, but oh my god, please stop it. This is why I rarely feel generous. The other day had me making for some reason quite a few soups. Humble yet hearty stuff. Ham and beans, chili, potato soups, etc. I like to keep them around to pull out of the freezer. I made more than I realized and I decided against my better judgment to offer some up on the local needs page as safely home cooked meals if somebody needs something because someone asking for a meal or two is quite common on said page. I had multiple requests and being that this page covers quite the geographical area, I got several variations of I live too far from you, would you deliver? And the more passive aggressive I live too far from you and life is so hard and I guess my family just won't be eating. I ignored those in favor of two others. Person A who did live quite a distance away but was willing to drive up and person B who actually lives a stone's throw from me and was having all sorts of medical and financial issues and couldn't even feed her family and couldn't even leave the house for groceries. Person A messages me. She's gonna leave now. Multiple hours go by. She finally makes up some excuse about her car breaking down. Now, person A is actually a fairly regular fixture
fixture of the page and always has car troubles and job issues and food problems, yet also likes to go on vacations. She asked if I would just bring her some takeout for her family because now that she thinks about it, half an hour was too long of a drive for cheap food like chili and ham and beans. And then person B messages me her address and also asks if I would mind picking up a few cheap groceries for her kids as well. I usually would go against this, but the address was so close, I could just spring there without getting winded. And the groceries were indeed cheap, totaling less than $5. So I get them and I go to her house to drop off the food. She's not even home. I don't feel like leaving the food on her porch as it was a hot day and I didn't want anything to spoil. So I messaged her about a later time for me to bring it by. She does apologize for not being home and says she'll message me when she returns. And then when that finally happens, she says that her kids weren't interested in the soups and would I mind ordering them a pizza? <laughs> so currently I have a bunch of soup stashed in my freezer for my own rainy day. P.S. I ordered neither takeout nor pizza. What the hell? <laughs> Could you imagine? It's almost like the people that we read about on this subreddit are trying so hard to be ungrateful. Like there's a competition of who can be the most annoying and ungrateful. Like I don't even know how you do this and don't feel so guilty about it. So and so is looking for a car. Can anyone give me a ride downtown tomorrow? I need a ride to an appointment at 10 so pick me up at 9 and drive me home around 11. Yeah, I could probably do it. I've got some shopping to be done downtown. If you pay for parking, I'll drive. Um, thanks I guess, but why should I pay for parking for your car? No, you better be joking. <laughs> Thinks that the entire world revolves around them? Oh, that's unbelievable. They want you to pay for parking because they're doing something for you that they really don't need to do because not everything is about you and what you have to do today. <laughs> like, hello, it is me. Entitlement. 110. Nah, I'm firm on 120, thank you. 115. Once again, I'm firm on 120. 116. 119. No, 120. I'll buy it for 119 just so I don't pay you 120. Wow, what? Yeah, that's not up to you. Okay, 125. You're a child, says the man who can't understand what firm means. Yeah, and also says stuff like, I'll buy it for 119 just so I don't pay you 120. Like, do you know how this works? They don't have to sell it to you. <laughs> that was genuinely hilarious for all of the wrong reasons. Does anybody have a cheap box of Rice Krispies? I'm craving Rice Krispies bad. Lol. Oh yeah, can you drop them to me? I live on the south side. I can pay back on Thursday next to the person who does this. I'm still hungry. Yeah, something tells me nobody brought them Rice Krispies. A friend of mine and their wife for looking for a cheap mid-sized pickup, preferably four-wheel drive. Life has served up a crappy series of unfortunate events. Multiple vehicle failures, having to move, plus a loss of current employment makes everything a touch more difficult. Mid-capacity V6 is kind of ideal for fuel economy. They'd prefer it not to be a Dodge or older than 1990. Show me what you have out there. Budget is nil. Future payments are a possibility. I'm sure they are. You know, they are pretty reasonable preferences, but you can't be picky when you're trying to get something for free especially a car. You'd be so lucky to get any car for free. And also, if you were somebody who did have a car that you could give to somebody, you're probably not going to want to give it to somebody who's super picky and probably ungrateful. I volunteer at a youth center and we sometimes run Pokemon events. Choosing beggar mother wants my Charizard. I wanted to thank you for looking after so-and-so. They had such a nice day. Hi, not a problem. He's always so well behaved. Really gets along with the other kids. He loved the cards you gave him. Thank you. Oh good, I'm glad he enjoyed and I hope to see him at the next one. He keeps talking about the card that you brought in. Do you know which one he was talking about? Yeah, he's probably talking about the Charizard. I told the group about it last time and they asked me to bring it next time, so I brought it to show them. Sorry, this one? And then they sent an eBay listing. It's the same character, but mine's from the original printing. That's why they were excited to see. Okay, is it like this? Yeah, the design is pretty similar. I think that's a reprinted version. Right, very confusing. They're both birthday is coming up and he loves your card so much. Would you consider letting me buy yours for $140? As per that eBay listing, I can pay cash. Sorry, I'm at work. I know it can be a bit confusing to understand why, but the one I showed is significantly more valuable. Mine is from the original print and it has certain features that make it rare and it's also been authenticated by an entire company that grade the condition and preserve it in a capsule. I'm sorry, but I don't actually plan on selling it. The kids just really wanted to see it. Okay, so you wouldn't take cash cash if I picked it up this week? No, it's not for sale. Again, was just to show the kids because they asked last time. $200 cash? No, it's significantly more expensive and it's not for sale. I don't think 
I'll ever sell it. Here's an eBay listing for the one I have in the same grade. Christ, are you joking? It's cardboard. Not joking, unfortunately. And yeah, there's a big market for these kinds of cards. That's completely ridiculous. Unfair price. Very disappointing as they look up to you. It's not their fault that the card's expensive. Are you joking? I'm honestly not sure what to say. I looked after your kid for free in my own time and gave him a free card from my own collection. This isn't negotiable. I'm not even selling it. You can find reprints or different versions for much or less online. Completely ridiculous. I'm frankly disgusted. Quite sad, really. A grown man playing cards with kids. Quite sad I spend more time with your son than you do. Oh, F off, you piece of crap. You are trash. Never letting him attend again. Yeah, we both know that's not true, lol. I'm calling so-and-so and making sure you never work there again. Expect a call from them, C word. I don't work there, I volunteer. Real scared. What are you gonna do, spend a whole day with your son? Stop contacting me. You're upset because they won't sell you a super expensive Pokemon card for like $100. Oh, what's that? Somebody's being super reasonable. I better get really upset and flip out for no reason. The absolute audacity to be so disrespectful and so rude. And then to turn around and say that the other person is wrong? Nah. Divorcing husband of 14 years for being broke? I hate asking you, but is there any way you could help me out with a hotel for me and the boys for the next few days? I filed for divorce? Wait, what? I mean, yeah, you know I've got you, but what? What happened? Girl, I'm just sick of it. He's working two jobs and he just never does anything for me. I have to use box hair dye, paint my own nails, cook every night because we can't afford to go out. I can't tell you the last time I got a new outfit. We cancelled the trip to Florida because he said it was going to cost too much. The money from his grandpa is gone. I'm tired of being broke. I can't live like this anymore. I need somebody to provide. I'm done being broke and miserable. You're not funny. I'm tired of your crap tonight. Take your ass to bed. This isn't a joke. I'm for real leaving. Like tonight? What do you mean you're not kidding? I love you and we've always been close but me being me, you know I'm going to straight up call you out on some BS. You're telling me you're about to divorce and leave a man that you've been married to for 14 years because you're broke? Because you ain't got new shoes or clothes? Because you ain't took a vacation? Because your hair ain't did and your nails aren't popping? This man ain't beat you, betrayed you, dragged you through the mud, but you're mad because he's working not one but two jobs? And he's broke? Where do you work? How much money are you putting into this? Please. You ain't ever love that man if you're gonna walk out on him because he's broke? He's been providing a house, a car, food. Your children have clothes and shoes. I mean, what the hell? Vows, for better or worse, life is hard. It takes two people nowadays. You got a damn good husband. He's a damn good daddy to those boys. And what, you're gonna vanish because he ain't got no money? Some men are dogs, and I feel like some of them are because of women like you. You can bring the boys to me, but I'm not sending you money. I feel like you deserve to know what broke is. Wow, what an amazing response. That's genuinely a good friend. Like, they know the truth, and they're still saying it, even though it would be super hard to say that. They're still saying it because they know that the other person needs to hear it. Hey, I saw that you're doing princess Zoom calls again. Yeah, I am. What's up? I was trying to see if you could do a call with Taylor today for her birthday. I am available after 2. What time works for you? I charge 30 for an hour or 15 for 30 minutes. Can you do it for free since it's her birthday? No, but I can give you a discount. I can do 10 for 30 minutes. That doesn't work for me. Stop being a arch. It's her birthday. Yeah, never mind. No. Bye. Yeah, I feel like that was the best way to handle this. Like, yeah, okay, bye. Never gonna talk to you ever again. Like, you can't just be treating people like this. Like, come on, it's her birthday, you arch. Like, does that work with every person you talk to or every place you go to where you need to pay for something? Like, come on, you arches. I want everything for free. Choosing beggar doesn't get sarcasm, and I'm also pretty sure they invented a disabled son. Hi, is the phone still available? Hello, yes it is. I have had quite a few inquiries. Would you take 200? Oh, of course. It's not like it's a seven-month-old top of the range Samsung worth 900. This is going to be a present for my son's 18th birthday gift. He had a car accident last Christmas and has been in a wheelchair since. Could you give him a discount? I'm really sorry about your son, but the phone is still Samsung's best phone. I'd take 850, but I'd need it by tomorrow because I could sell it on eBay for 900. Could you do it for 250, please? It would mean so much to him and he's been so depressed since the accident. As I said, I'm really sorry for your kid, but I'm afraid 850 would be the lowest I can take. I've seen the same model go for 300. I'll give you 300. Look, hun, if you've seen my phone for 300, you should definitely get that one and sell it. As the one I'm selling was 1300 when I bought it seven months ago. Oh, 
the phone is used and you said you would sell it to me for 200. I know it's a good model and new. That's why I'm offering you 300. Oh my God, that was sarcasm. 850 is the lowest I'll go. Sorry. That is a written agreement. If you don't keep to your word, I'll sue you. Oh, sorry. So you. You don't need to be rude. Lol, good luck with sewing me and I'm not being rude. But just so your last message is right about something, F off. Yeah, why all of a sudden is it rude to sell something for what it's worth? Like the person before with the Pokemon card, they're getting angry at you because you're selling something valuable, like it's your fault. And the most infuriating part is that they don't even realize that they're in the wrong. Like you have no idea how unreasonable you're being. Does anybody have a free dog that's potty trained and trained to sit and lay? That also has a cage that they'll give away and that'll be willing to drop off to me? Well, what else do you want? Do you want my house and my car and all my food? Give me a dog and drop it off. <laughs> Entitled guy is upset that a bike shop performed free labor for him instead of charging him like everybody else. Gives a one star Google review. There are better bike shops out there, but these guys were closer to my apartment. I went in on this date and I had a weird experience. At first, I just went in to get some CO2 cartridges. I specifically asked for five threaded ones. I didn't even realize they gave me three threaded and two non-threaded until I got home. Annoying, but not the end of the world. So I went back and I brought my girlfriend's tire with me that I was having trouble seating. After I exchanged the CO2 cartridges, I asked if somebody could take a look at the tire. Everyone was busy so I tried to do it myself with their air compressor. After trying for a few minutes, some guy came over and asked if he could help me. So I gave him the tire and he got it seated. As he was giving it back to me, he said we usually don't do this for free but we'll hook you up this time. Something I didn't really appreciate. Yeah, it's already so obvious that you don't appreciate it. He probably thought he was being funny but it was a douchey comment. A douchey comment. <laughs> I've worked in bike shops before and to keep customers coming back you always do basic things for free. Wrap handlebars, seat a tire, change a cassette, install a water bottle cage etc. Those things should be done for free with a smile on your face. I won't be back. Wait so they used to work at a bike shop but they don't know how to do this? I'm so confused and I feel like that's enough choosing beggars for today. Let's read something a lot less irritating. How come this otter looks like he's about to guide me on a quest? Because he probably is. The top comment. And why is every quest it's just me bringing him fish? Me? This day's stressing me. I need a drink. My three-year-old? Here you go, Dad. Hands me his milk. Me? Have you got anything stronger? Mom, can you get Dad a chocolate milk? <laughs> oh, I feel like we all need a chocolate milk. My cat wakes me up every morning. This morning, I woke her up. Revenge. <laughs> every single morning at 10 to 6, Jin wakes me up like 10 seconds before my alarm. And then I get up to edit my videos and he's just sprinting around everywhere. Cute little fella. I like your profile photo. Thanks, yours is crap. I apologize for this comment. I am now a nicer man. Oh, well, that's good. And once again, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you had a wonderful time. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And the very wholesome comment of the day goes to Summer. I hope everyone has an amazing day today and you're all beautiful and loved. Oh, thank you, Summer. I couldn't have said it any better. Our community is so awesome. So yeah, thank you for making it so awesome, guys. And with that being said, make sure you have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye!